Welcome to EmacsConf 2023, where we get to find out just how much we can do with a text editor. Just like last year, we have two tracks. There's a general track and a development track, but really, you'll probably find interesting things in both tracks no matter what your level of experience is, so don't feel limited to one or the other. For Saturday, it's mostly org mode talks on the general track. The doc talk on the development track is about literate documentation with Emacs in org mode, and it's a general audience talk even though it's in the development track. I just ran out of space in the schedule. The best parts of EmacsCon for the conversations. The wiki has a page on how to watch and participate, and I'll give you a quick overview as well. You can watch both streams at live.emacsconf.org using free and open source software. Using a streaming media player like MPV seems to be the best way to watch in terms of performance, but there are also web-based players just in case that's all you've got. The schedule shows the general track on top and the development track on the bottom, so you can see what else is going on. As you're watching the talks, you can refer to the schedule in another window. Hover over the boxes to see the times and titles, and click on the boxes in the schedule to jump to the talks page for more details. You can also get the schedule as an iCalendar file or as an org file in different time zones. Many talks will be followed by live Q&A web conferences with a speaker, which will be done in Big Blue Button or BBB. These are indicated with a solid border on the schedule and by Q&A BBB on the schedule page. You can join the web conference room by clicking on the BBB link on the schedule page or the talks web page. Then you can ask your questions yourself when the Q&A starts. To improve performance, please keep your webcam off and stay muted until it's your turn to talk. This year, we're experimenting with automatically switching between talks and Q&A sessions, so the transitions on the stream might be a little sudden, but people in the big blue button room can continue the conversation even after the talk moves off stream. Other talks will have Q&A via Etherpad or IRC, depending on what the speakers prefer. This is indicated in the schedule with a dashed border, and in the talk page as well. Please ask your questions in the recommended places so that the speakers can easily see them. Some talks will have the Q&A after the event, so you can add your questions to their Etherpad. We'll email the speakers afterwards and update the talk pages when they answer. The schedule pages and track pages have quick shortcuts so that you can find out more about talks, open the Etherpads, and join the Q&A sessions. The watch page has more tips on how to make the most of Q&A. If you can, please add notes and ask questions in the Etherpad for the talk. This makes it easier for everyone to share their notes, and speakers and hosts can read the questions from there. We'll copy the notes to the talk pages afterwards. We have one pad for each talk, so you can follow the links to get to the next one or go back to the schedule and get the link from there. If you have general feedback about the conference itself, please put it in pad.emacsconf.org 2023, which is linked in each pad. You can also use this as a general community message board for things like Help Wanted. Internet Relay Chat, or IRC, can be another great way to be part of lots of conversations. You can use chat.emacsconf.org to join the IRC channels through your web browser. The tabs on the left can help you switch between the different channels. There is emacsconf-gen for the general track, and emacsconf-dev for the development track. If you need to reach us, you can join emacsconf-org or email emacsconf-org-private at gnu.org. You can use emacsconf for hallway conversations. And of course, you can join any of these channels with your favorite IRC client. We're on the libera.chat network. Once again, we're going to be streaming with open captions for most of the talks this year thanks to our speakers and captioning volunteers. The caption talks are indicated on the schedule, and with any luck, we'll be posting transcripts and talk pages shortly after the talks start. If you need additional accommodations, please let us know in emacsconf.org, and we'll see if we can make things happen. If something goes down, we'll update status.emacsconf.org. If it doesn't look like we've noticed yet, please let us know in the emacsconf.org IRC channel, where we will be quietly panicking. In all these conversations, please keep in mind our guidelines for conduct. You can find them on the wiki. They basically boil down to, please be nice. If all goes well, the pre-recorded talks and transcripts should be available from the talk pages shortly after they start playing, and we'll post the recordings of live talks and Q&A sessions within the next month or so. 
If you'd like to get an update, you can subscribe to the EmacsConf Discuss mailing list. All right, let's get going. Leo Vivier is hosting the general track, and Amin Bandali is hosting the development track. The other volunteers and I will run around mostly backstage, and you'll probably meet us in the closing remarks. That's also where we get to thank all the people and organizations who make EmacsConf even possible. Thanks for coming to EmacsConf 2023.